Muddy Boots here again. Thank you for joining me. Good to see you all tuning in. Tuning in really is it, but you know. Um, this is a small intro into um, three days I've recently spent in the Lane District with some friends of mine. I have a, a friend and his Mrs. Bob, uh, Brad and Bob, came over from the States uh, end of April. Uh, they came over for I think about three weeks. Brad's a very keen photographer and Bob enjoys the hiking so what better combination of joining the two into the Lake District and, and do a bit of both. So met up with them and we had uh, a great, great three days schlepping around all over. Uh, this video is um, it's not the whole three days you'd be bored to tears I think watching that so it's just a, a, a few sort of vignettes of locations where we went and the photographs that we took so if you like this hit the like button if you dislike it hit that dislike button and you're into that sort of thing again it's easy to criticize isn't it without doing it yourself get out there and do it and more importantly subscribe if you hit the subscribe button you get notifications saying when the next videos come up so without uh, any further delay run the intro this I've just um, not dressed how I'm uh, normally attired I'm just left a conference in Birmingham and um, I'm making my way up to Ambleside for three or four days of um, walking and photography I'm meeting a friend of mine up there Brad who's over from the US of A uh, Brad's come over with his wife Barb and they are over here for a couple of weeks. <clears throat> They've been around the lakes previously. And I'm also meeting up with a couple of other guys who are part of the Flickr community. Flickr's the uh, photo sharing website. And it's, it's quite an interactive community really, particularly for photographers. And um, <clears throat> so I'm just making a mad dash from south of Birmingham and I should be arriving in Ambleside at around I'm just checking the sat nav here at 10 to 8 this evening got about 170 miles to go see you in a bit when I get there it's about an hour and a half since uh, I last spoke still going up the M6 the traffic hasn't been too bad really it's now half past 6 on a Wednesday evening my ETA in Ambleside is five to eight so another hour and a half to go i spoke to brad earlier and we're going to meet up uh, with barb get some food in one of the local pubs get a few pints i think uh, brad has been out over in littendale in the yorkshire dales and the weather seems to be getting better the further north i go um, so hopefully he's had a good day some nice interesting clouds as well the light's getting better so it might be good up in the lakes, hopefully it will be. So I'll probably speak to you again when I get there. Bye for now. Still on the M6 yet. I've just come off the phone to Pete. <clears throat> Pete's one of the Flickr community. He's already up there actually. He's been out with the camera. He's been up Lingmoor, which is in Langdale. Uh, he said he's got some nice light. A uh, bit windy though. <clears throat> so I'm still on target for getting into Ambleside about eight o'clock. So when I get there, I'm going to speak to, give Pete a call. I'm going to meet up, find a pub, meet with Brad and Barb. And he did mention that he knows where Lowe's Water Gold is served up there, which is an absolutely, it's a cracking pint, Lowe's Water Gold. So I'm looking forward to getting a few of them and uh, 
mean, Lowe's Water Gold, I can only manage about nine of them. It's good to quench the thirst, because this this motorway driving is uh, thirsty work. So, that would make it nice. just arrived in Ambleside, just walking up now through the town centre. I'm going to go and meet Pete at the Queen's Hotel. He's got a table sorted and then Brad and Barb are going to turn up and we're going to see them when they arrive shortly. So up here into the pub, a few beers and a read of the book. Just up here down pretty much in the centre as you can see and I think that's the Queen's where Pete's meeting us. I'm just gonna spin round so you can see where we are. I'm walking over here now. I'm gonna see if I can find him. Hi guys, good morning. This is the first morning of the lakes and photography trip and I'm out with um, Brad and Pete and we've just stopped off just outside of Ambleside and Pete's just uh, noted that there's a good spot down here, um, a particular bridge next to the, the river here, um, well this is the bridge behind, I don't know if you can see it behind me and <coughs> could be a long exposure job so I'm just going to walk down to the riverside it's quite easy parking just parked at the top and as you can probably see behind me got Pete and Brad uh, setting up so I'm just gonna make my way down and um, see what we've got here and that's the shot that we're gonna be going for with the bridge up in the back and the church too I've got the two professionals here with me. <laughs> and I really would have thought they'd have set up by now. But uh, watch this space and I'll be back in a moment. So I've just uh, set up the shot for the, uh, for the bridge and the church in the back. Um, got the, uh, as you can see, got the filters on and it's a neutral density um, filter ND8 which is four stops so I've gone for um, F22 and I'm on six seconds there and I've wound the ISO back down to one so that's what we've gone for I'm going to press the button I've got a 10 second delay and um, we'll see what this ends up with as you will see following when it takes, it's just clicked. This is what it looks like. It's uh, actually looking here, it's the Nikon Shooting Club. So I'm Nikon, Brad's on a Nikon, and uh, Pete's also on a Nikon. So none of that Canon rubbish here. <laughs> That sets the cat amongst the pigeons.
going over cattle grid so I'm trying to watch my feet I've just arrived at, um, at the top of um, the pass over to Bleet Arm and got some nice light coming through now it's quite windy uh, quite a biting wind too so just going to get that with the Langdales in the background and hopefully um, a nice pano shot maybe two or three shots stitched together and we should end up with something decent so I'm just going to make my way over and try and avoid all the mud just got some really really good light across the Langdale Pike as you can see it's just drifting across um, it was fantastic moved all the way across the valley um, so I just took a number of pano shots uh, ISO 100 F9 and the shutter speed is 200 so um, nothing fancy just a left to right pano I can get them stitched together um, and this is the result from it Then we've got these two dudes. Busy dropping everything. Pete's um, dropping and falling and breaking things. And uh, yeah, that's no, no, that's the other one for this one. Lenses, but that's the one. What's the what's the fitting on the front there, Pete? Uh, new Nissi S5 for the uh, 1424 Nikon. Bit of a beast, but it certainly is, isn't it? Yeah. Probably end up getting blown away. So here we go. And what uh, what lens are you using? Huh? 1424 2.8. Right, nice, nice. Just uh, pack the camera and tripod away now. And what we've been getting here is these patches of light, just light and dark. It's great contrast. Uh, so I've just been trying to zoom in onto some of them and get some um, real close up images. I've done some wide stuff for some panels, um, but I'm gonna have to see how the, uh, the close up stuff works. And, uh, this is what it looks like.
we've just uh, pulled down into, um, I think this is Eskdale, not quite sure, no maybe not, but we've, uh, there's a classic shot actually, is, is it Dale Farm, Dale Head Farm, and what we're actually going for is, got the cattle grid here in the road, and as you can see, Brad's already um, taking a shot, so there's some good leading lines up to the farmhouse with the hill behind, um, so maybe a close-up shot not sure might try the wide lens uh, so I'm just gonna go and rattle a few pictures off and um, this is what they look like so we've got various shots going on here and um, have you gone for a long lens there Brad are you going uh. for at this. There we go. Here we go. One for posterity. <laughs> Documentation. <laughs> Pete's looking very focused on his. What uh, what sort of image are you going for there, Pete? Tight in, long lens. Yeah. Tight in on it. Just really draw the farm in. It'd be nice with a bit of sunlight on it, wouldn't it? It'd be ideal. Yeah. 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 Quite nice. 